Different patients need different blood components, components that are critical to their treatment and recovery. Blood components are a precious resource. The supply requires constant replenishment since needs change daily. You can make a difference in your community by helping to deliver the components patients vitally need. I know she had at least nine transfusions. Natalie was sick for quite a while, eventually had an MRI that revealed a brain tumor behind her left eye, and it was a type of cancer called primitive chordoma, and it's an extremely rare form of cancer. And I know several of them were platelet transfusions. That was nine, you know, post-surgery during the six cycles of chemotherapy, so it's a lot. All of a sudden, I was uh, <clears throat> at home and I was not feeling well and uh, I was hemorrhaging really bad. And um, the next day, they took me through it to emergency and that's when I was diagnosed with TTP. Well, I guess over the whole episode, it was like over 1,300 blood products that I received total. Sometimes I would go two days, I mean two twice a day. You think about that, uh, I mean, you have to come to the conclusion that uh, donors are some of the most important people yes. in the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Grace, um, she's an amazing little girl. She has had so many platelet donations to where she goes in, and I've been fortunate to be out there and watch her going through a transfusion. It's amazing how she just takes it commonplace now. She just goes in and, um, and she's receiving somebody's platelets or blood just that somebody may have donated the day before and she seems just it's just commonplace for her like somebody going to get a drink of water. After the transfusion or after platelets have been given to her she just she's a normal child again. I was diagnosed with leukemia in 2002 in the spring and started my chemotherapy treatments. I received both red blood and platelets. Uh, I received more red blood than I did platelets, but uh, the platelets were a little harder to get. They're not as in abundance as the red blood. So I couldn't have gone on without them. When your body is being pushed down by the chemotherapy, you cannot create the blood on your own. So I absolutely had to have the blood from the donors in order to stay alive. For, for people who don't donate blood or people who are not donating on automated equipment, I guess there's, there's a, a fear of the unknown, fear of something new. Uh, and it's really our job to let them know <laughs> that this isn't very difficult, that it shouldn't be very scary, that there are safety techniques and safety precautions that are built in, uh, that there are thousands of people who provide blood and donate by automated techniques daily, uh, and that the results are incredibly positive, the products are used, they save lives. When you get blood, you have two options for donation, whole blood donation and automated donation. Blood consists of three main components, red blood cells, platelets, and plasma. Red blood cells deliver oxygen to and remove carbon dioxide from the tissues and are transfused most often after trauma, surgery, or anemia. Platelets, which are essential for blood clotting, are transfused to support cancer therapy, surgery, blood disorders, and organ transplants. 
Because platelets must be transfused within five days of donation, the supply requires constant replenishment. Plasma, which is the liquid portion of the blood, contains critical clotting factors and is used for plasma exchange and to treat bleeding disorders. After a whole blood donation, your blood is sent to a laboratory where it is separated into the three components. Surprisingly, it takes the combined efforts of six whole blood donors to produce a single dose of platelets for transfusion to a patient. With automated donation, your blood is separated during the procedure, which enables you to give only the components patients need most that day. An automated donation lets you donate the red blood cells, platelets, and plasma separately or in combination. With automation, you can give more in a single visit. And because automated donations are more precise and efficient, they may enhance and save more lives. I actually kind of joke with my friends that part of the reason I come here is purely selfish. I, I come in just because it feels so good to know that you've helped somebody like that out. And it's nice to be able to walk out the door knowing you've given something that you can't give with your checkbook or your credit card or even, you know, just volunteering with an organization. I mean, this is something that really comes from your soul, you know, to take the time to come in here to give the products. So, and I know that that can't be bought. People who come in here and donate uh, are, are doing that. They're saving lives. I mean, when you look around, you see all these posters and everything. I saved a life today. And when you say you don't have time, time, are you telling me you don't have uh, have an hour to save your own loved one's life? There's people that may not survive, you know, without you know the the, the donors that come in. Sometimes it, it's the difference. And when you think about that, you know, you don't, uh... this stuff really means a lot to me. <laughs> you, don't want more, you don't want to be the one not to come in, you know, because it does, it, it, uh, it could be the difference. You could be the difference, you know, if, if you come in and, and uh, you know that you're doing something, somebody you'll never know probably in your whole life, never meet, but it, you know you're making a difference. No matter what you do here, it's a big difference. What blood donors do is one of the most important things someone can, can do for someone else. It's easy to do, uh, it doesn't take much time, uh, you get a value for your time that's far greater than writing a check because you're making an immediate difference in someone's life. I found out that I was expecting five days before we found out Natalie had a brain tumor. And if she wouldn't have had all of her blood and platelet transfusions, I don't know that she would have ever met her baby brother. You know, all I can say to the donors is thank, I thank God for them. And um, I just thank them for giving life to people like me. Wow, <laughs> I don't, you can't really even say in words what it means. It keeps you alive. It's you have to have it in order to stay alive. So there's, I mean, just saying thank you almost sounds silly, but I don't think people realize when they give how huge that is, but it is. Give it a chance and, and uh, donate once and hopefully if you're like me, you're hooked. <laughs> you want to keep donating just to help others in need, even if you don't know who they are. I think my niece Grace would want to say, give me, a, give me a chance. Give me a chance to last another week, another month, another year, because that's basically what platelets and blood donations are doing for Grace. They're giving her another week or a month or a year, maybe 10 years, who knows. I just hope that people will continue to donate because I've realized that as our lives get more hectic, you know, as you get more wrapped up in work or school or whatever you've got going on, it can be hard to make the time. And as more and more people say they don't have the time, that means you have less and less products that are getting donated and getting out there to the people that really need them. The process is quick and, you know, and everything, and, and uh, if nothing else, try it. 
you know, give it, give it a try. Because most of the people that end up here have tried it, and they think, hey, play, this ain't so bad, you know. And, and so, you know, they go ahead and, and continue to come. Your blood donation touches lives as no other gift can. Now you can help patients in your community even more through automated donation. It's safe and it's simple. Ask your blood center representative today about how you can get started.